All right, guys, we're gonna work a collar choke with the gi from the back, okay? So Dan's gonna get into position here. We're just gonna do it sitting up so you guys can uh, see everything, all right? When I have the back, I don't wanna cross my feet because he can ankle lock me, okay? So I wanna keep my feet riding right in. We call this our hooks, all right? From here, I can have double under hooks, that's fine, but usually we like to go one arm over, one arm under. Whatever arm's over, you're gonna be grabbing that wrist. That way you can, almost, it's almost like a seat belt. If I grab this way, it's loosening up. This way, I keep him tight to me, okay? From here, what we're gonna do is, the hand that's hugging here, we're gonna take the gi, we're gonna open the lapel, and we're gonna feed it straight down. My opposite hand grabs tight, as tight as you can get it, okay? From here, the other hand's gonna grab across to the opposite lapel. Now, it doesn't have to be real tight up here. You can just grab it about, you know, belly height, belly button height, okay? From here, this one's just gonna pull straight down to take the slack out of the gi. From here, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lean back and it's gonna be almost like I'm pull start in a lawnmower, all right? From here, I pull straight down and I turn, okay? Start again, we have our hooks in. I'm gonna get my under the arm, the under hook, my other arm's the overhook. I grab the overhook hand, all right? Monkey grip once again, no thumbs, and pull them tight. Once I'm ready, I wanna keep my head tight. I'm gonna open, take the hand, feed. From here, I grab loose, just so I can take the slack out of the gi, so it can strangle tighter. I'm gonna pull it straight down. This one's gonna do the choking. All right, one more time, full speed. Right here. And that's your collar choke from the back.